Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the weight activity in Azure Data Factory. So let us first understand when actually we use a weight activity. So whenever you will use a weight activity in a pipeline, the pipeline will wait for a specific period of time before continuing the execution of a subsequent activity. So that is the use case. So suppose you have a multiple activities. Suppose you have one of the copy data activity which is happening and suppose uh, you have another copy data activity that should happen but you want like your pipeline should wait for a 30 minutes or for a specific period of time interval in that case you can use a wait activity so whenever you will use a wait activity the pipeline will wait for a specific period of time whatever the time you will mention and then the continuing execution will happen suppose in this scenario if you'll see i have a two copy data activity which is happening first is the from a blob storage to the sales table copy data is happening and uh, it is waiting for the certain period of time suppose 30 minutes and after 30 minutes only the customer uh, data is getting loaded so this is one of the scenarios in this case if i had to if i had to stop or if i had to wait my pipeline for the 30 minutes so what actually i can use i can use a wait activity in azure data factory so let me show you how actually i can use it is a very simple use case you have to go into the author click on the new pipeline so let me show you let me add a copy data first and let me show you the weight activity so if you'll go into the uh, general you can see weight is there so if you'll click in the weight so this is the weight activity so i'll click on the weight give into the name and after that go to the setting what is the time period for that you want to wait your pipeline suppose i want 30 se second i want it to be weighted so what I will mention 30 seconds so like that the second wise you can mention the time period and the pipeline will wait for that particular time period. So suppose you have a multiple copy data activity but uh, you wanted to uh, wait for a specific period or time period. Uh, for taking example uh, first the copy data is activity happening then I want my pipeline should be waited for the 30 second at least and then only the delete should happen. So in this case, I can use the wait activities. So yeah, that is the simple use case we have. So I hope you got idea. Yeah, that's it in this. Year. Thanks.